Imaging Solutions is Australia's leading single source supplier of global market leading imaging related products. At Imaging Solutions you'll receive not only access to the world's very best but also, most importantly, access to engineers and technicians who really know what they're doing. Factory training backed by a solid commitment to excellence and most importantly, responsiveness. This combination delivers on time, in full, on your expectations. This is an MR400 multi-parameter physiological monitoring system capable of withstanding strong magnetic environments. Depending on which model you have, the MR400 is capable of monitoring wireless ECG, wireless SpO2, and tidal CO2, temperature, non-invasive blood pressure, two invasive blood pressure channels, and volatile anesthetic agents. Today, we will be providing you with an overview of the MR400 and giving you some training and guidance on various aspects of the monitor within your clinical environment. In this next section, one of our field specialist engineers will be guiding you through this training. The MR400 patient monitor is designed with safety in mind. So first of all, we have a power button on the front here that is a commit push. So this means that it takes about half a second of pressure to turn the monitor on or off. This just stops you from accidentally turning the monitor off if you bump into it. The MR400 patient monitor is rated up to 5,000 Gauss. This means that for a standard 3T magnet, this can monitor a patient anywhere in the room without feeling any pull. If there is a little bit of pull though, each of the four wheels on the bottom does have a separate lock. If you're ever in doubt, then you can refer to your Gauss line mapping. All of our accessories and consumables were made specifically for an MR environment. Uh, this can be identified by the MR safety symbol, which is found on all of these packets. The user interface of the MR400 features a 15-inch touchscreen, which combines the high-resolution vital signs with the familiarity of a bedside interface. The MR400 is capable of measuring several waveforms. We have two ECG waveforms, a plethysmograph, a capnograph, and hemodynamic monitoring. The vital boxes can all be found on the right-hand side of the monitor. So we have the ECG, SpO2, CO2, two invasive blood pressures, as well as all of your gases along the bottom, and then temperature and non-invasive blood pressure. All of the quick function buttons can be found on the right-hand side of the monitor here. So you can go into the main monitor setup, manually start and stop the non-invasive blood pressure, change the cycling inter interval for the non-invasive blood pressure, zero all the pressure channels, set up your trends to determine which ones you want to see. You can clear all of your trend lines, set up one-touch alarms, you can change the ECG filter, and you can take the monitor in and out of suspend mode. If your patient doesn't need monitoring of all of these vitals, then you can remove some of the parameters by going into the setup, monitor, parameters, and then selecting the ones that you don't want to be on the screen. To save you from having to change the parameters, the alarms, and all the other various settings every time you get a new patient, we can expedite this process by creating a user profile up in the user settings options. If you do need to change any of the settings of an individual waveform, all you need to do is touch the vitals box that corresponds with that waveform, and then a list of settings comes up as seen here. So this is the wireless SpO2 module that comes with the patient monitor. To turn it on, simply take the battery, put it in the top, and just click it in. You'll see some flashing lights come on, and that lets you know that it's on. This cable is a fiber optic cable, so it's very sensitive to damage. So you just want to make sure that you're not bending it or twisting it, and that when you store it, the cable is hanging down like it is right now. With the module ready for use, first choose which of the SpO2 clips you want. Reusable clips come in adult and pediatric sizes. Meanwhile, disposable clips come in a variety of sizes, which include adult, infant, pediatric, and neonatal. Disposable clips are more secure and tend to work better on patients that move about. When you're placing the clip on your patient, only handle the clip itself and not the cables. These cables are fiber optic and prone to damage. Always pull from the reinforced tips when changing clips, not from the cable itself. SpO2 clips can be applied to any appendage provided they're secure. Neonatal clips can just wrap around a patient's foot or toe, so always make sure that there is enough blood flow. To ensure you've got a good connection to your patient with your clip, check your perfusion index. If your perfusion index is higher than 0 
you've got a good connection. If your perfusion index is too low, try a different finger. You can cover the patient's hand with a blanket or towel to ensure that no light bleeds through that corrupts your signal. Always remember to store the SpO2 module downwards so that the cable is hanging free. Storing upwards will damage and then break the fiber optic cable over time. This patient monitor provides an advanced cardiac architecture with a superior ECG signal monitoring and wireless gating. So just like the SpO2 module, you just got to click these batteries in, a light will come on to let you know that it's on, and then it's good to go. This is a specialty made cable. It is designed with a bend in the middle, so that way it can't fold over itself, and you won't get any heating from a conductive loop. These leads have been designed specially to use with our electrodes. So they're different lengths for ease of use and increased patient safety. As with the SpO2 module, when we connect this module to the patient, we just want to keep the module itself outside of the field of view and along the center line of the patient. Before you place ECG leads on your patient, pick the correct type of ECG cable. Standard and CV cables come with the monitor, while a neonatal size is also available. CV ECG cables are made for CV quadrodes, which are four separate electrodes. CV quadrodes are best for female and larger patients. Standard ECG cables are made for the single patch quadrodes and are used for most patients. Neonatal ECG cables are made for the neonatal quadrodes. Once you've picked the correct cable, it's time to prepare your patient. If a patient has thick chest hair, remember to shave them first. Chest hair can conduct electricity and can cause burns. Next, apply the skin gel to the patient's chest liberally, wiping away any excess with a clean gauze pad. This can turn the skin pink, so don't worry. Make sure you clear away any dead skin cells so you're applying Quadrode straight onto clean skin. Do not use alcohol wipes to remove excess as they can dry out the skin and reduce conductivity. Use the line between each nipple as a guide for placing your Quadrodes. Remember that all Quadrodes we place towards the left hand side of the body. The top two CV Quadrodes are placed such that the electrodes are just above the nipple line. The bottom two CV Quadrodes are placed below underneath the breast tissue. It is vital that the ECG cables do not cross over when applied. If they do, they can create conductive loops that heat up and cause burns. Standard single patch quadrodes sit so that the top electrodes are just above the nipple line. Remember to sit your quadrodes to the left of the chest. Apply neonatal quadrodes to the center of the chest. Only use neonatal quadrodes for patients fewer than 10 kilograms. Once your quadrodes are placed, Ensure that you've got good conductivity. You can tell if your conductivity is correct by measuring the QRS complex against the scale to the left. A good trace should be between 1.5 and two times the size of the scale. You should place the ECG module on a soft surface like a blanket or a towel to minimize any surface vibrations from the table. Once you've captured your ECG, store the module hanging down. The fiber optic cable inside the module are prone to breaking if stored incorrectly. The advanced alarm system of this monitor separates itself from others, featuring multi-priority technical and clinical alarm systems, including bedside type warnings such as apnea, desaturation, extreme brady, and tachycardia. You can change alarms on your MR400 in one of two ways. First, access the setup menu and you'll see all of your live parameters. Pressing on a high or low value for a particular reading lets you change the alarm settings for a certain parameter. The second option for setting alarms is to use the One Touch Alarms button, which sets alarms based on your patient's current baseline vitals. Default One Touch Alarm settings are 20%, however you can change these as desired. There are a variety of cuff sizes for non-invasive blood pressure tests. It's important to choose the right one for your patient, whether that's a reusable cuff or a disposable cuff. Most adult cuffs will use the standard hose connection, while neonatal cuffs require a neonatal hose. When you select a new patient type on your MR400, you will have to select the appropriate patient type for your cuff. For a non-invasive blood pressure test, line the cuff up on the artery in your patient's upper arm. Leg readings are possible as well, however they're not as reliable, especially on children. To start the NIBP procedure, you can either manually start it with the NIBP start stop button or continuous measurements by choosing an NIBP interval period and it will cycle automatically. When starting this procedure, 
make sure that the monitor is not in suspend mode as it won't cycle if it is in suspend mode. The MR400 can also support monitoring of invasive blood pressure, which it does through these two channels located at the front of the machine here. For invasive blood pressure monitoring, you can either use our adapter and transducers, but if you'd rather continue using the transducers that you already use, you will have to contact your supplier to find the suitable adapter. Always check the water trap in the middle of the MR400's console before attaching the device to your patient. Also check the filter atop the water trap to make sure that it's still white. If the filter is white, or the water is up to the black line on the water trap, swap the water trap out. Sample lines to the water trap are for single use only. Only connect a sample line straight to an elbow tube or a nasal cannula. The monitor is calibrated specifically for a sample line with this length and diameter. A different sample line or several sample lines connected together will negatively affect your reading. First, choose where you'll place a thermometer sensor. It can read a patient's temperature in axillary, esophageal or rectal positions. If you're placing a sensor esophageal or rectally, make sure that it's protected by a hygienic disposable sensor jacket. For an axillary reading, simply place the tip of the sensor against the skin of the armpit. Remember that the sensor is at the end of the cable. Like all fiber optic cables, the temperature sensor is sensitive to damage, so always be sure to package it carefully. Hello Imaging Solutions. The Imaging Solutions Advantage is our storage facilities, in-house customer service team, and commitment to excellent end-to-end -end product management. Our large-scale storage facilities mean we'll have whatever you need when you need it. Cuffs, clips, water traps, cables, hoses, batteries, and spare wireless modules. These are just some of the items that we stock. Our in-house service team can manage any request you have quickly and with our trademark care to ensure you're always supplied with what you need. Imaging Solutions provides custom tailored service and support plans. All of our engineers and technicians are factory trained and are up to date with the latest Australian and New Zealand standards. We offer a wide range of biomedical services, which include preventive maintenance, advanced field and bench testing and repairs, dedicated 24 seven supports and a hot swap loan service. Whatever you need from Imaging Solutions, we can source and supply for you and your organisation. We're as committed to excellent service as you are to your patient's health. At Imaging Solutions, you can expect safe, sure and reliable performance. We give you the peace of mind that when you call, that's all. We'll be there to back you all the way. Peace of mind you can depend on.